even the song um, Gangster all come together in, in, in France. We mm -hmm. come back from France, and I mean, I mean you, you just couldn't, you couldn't write that script, you know, what we went through. Can you guess it? It's crazy. That can't happen. This is like um, some some space film, some, there's some ridiculous, what are you talking about? But the song come about by us going to France, the whole sound come about by coming back from France, really down like that because we had such a rough time in France. A song was written about Roddy and, 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 and my guitar took away from us by the gangsters because the club that we played at was owned and run by the gangsters, the mafias. Right. So wow. when 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 I when I had my guitar, guitar took away from me and Roddy's guitar took away from me, right? You know, the the the, the boss of the club, short little guy, little guy, you know, you know, really sort of really well dressed guy, suit and everything and we had a big fight in the in, in the in, in the hotel. It's, the door was smashed down, wow. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and because I took my guitar and and when that happened, and that guitar was I mean I I bought a guitar because of Steve Crapper, the Fender Telecaster because of Steve Crapper who played on all the old all the the, the stack stacks, stuff. Stacks, yeah. That's where I get I gotta get that guitar like that, you know. So I decided wow. well. Um, when the guy come in and these, these are big guys, they just grab my guitar and grab Roddy's guitar, and, and within seconds, we never expected. So obviously, I decided, well, you know something, I'm not leaving this hotel until I get my guitar. And around those times, um, my Britishness went, and I probably come back to and describe it like where my Britishness went. Right, I don't know if you do the history of Jamaica. Right, there's there's the Maroons. Yes, way back, yeah. yeah. In the, the oh, cockpit, yeah. the cockpit country. Yeah. The Maroons was, was, was controlled by the, the Spaniards. But mm -hmm. after Britain, they, they were, and, and, you know, and, and they were the only sort of warriors that Britain couldn't control. Because they disappeared and they, you know, and that's when the ignorance and the warrior come out of me. I said, I'm not leaving my guitar. You ever kill me. That's mm -hmm. when I can come out. I stopped talking English and start talking Patois. Yeah. They, I, I couldn't even understand myself what I was talking about. <laughs> but I was so mad, you know? Of course. I was like, I'm even, not, nah, I left until I get my guitar, you're going to kill me. The big fight in the, in the hotel fire. But when I got some the police come, that was it. And we, we got pushed out and everything. By, it's about 10 minutes walk from the from the hotel to the venue, right? By the time we walked to the venue, and that time I was so mad. I was bumping on everyone who looked like a French, right? I was going to the fight. <laughs> I just right, wanted to right. somebody who was French, you know? Yeah. <laughs> me too, right. me too. <laughs> um, by, the time we, by the time we get to um, get to the club, right, the venue, all the equipment was there. How did that happen? They just get the mafias, get all the guns out, and go and demand all the equipment, and was wow. there. Gangster. Wow. Gangster. <laughs> Gangster. Jeez. Why must we record a phone call? You promise, uh, you, you know, like, you say you've been threatened by a gangster, but it's you that's threatening me. Mm -hmm. Gangster. 